Dear Diary, upon arrival to these small towns, I'm always left wondering what keeps drawing me back. It's these small towns that appear to vanish from existence. These small towns I have an infatuation with. It's the chase and the enchantment of speaking with the dead. Welcome to Chloride, Arizona, population 271, but that's only counting the living. There was a true war that was fought here. Between 1865 and 1870, the Wallapai Native Americans would spend five long years at war in an attempt to defend their own land. Chief Anasa, the Yavapai's leader, was violently murdered. Chief Leave Leave would lead the tribes into battle in the name of avenging Chief Anasa. But unfortunately, they were now facing hundreds of U.S. Army soldiers. Oftentimes, the prospectors and the miners, they were contracting through the government. The government hired these contractors to go and find mines and find gold. Word traveled fast when the government found out that a miner's negotiation turned into a tribal chief's murder. And don't think that because the Native Americans were outnumbered that it meant their demise. The truth was, the tribes were winning. They were raiding and killing the soldiers by catching them on the roads before they actually made it to the tribe's people. This time, war was bloodier and the smell of obliteration was in the air. The government wanted those mines and they were willing to do anything they had to do to get them. Even if that meant exterminating an entire Native American tribe. We found out one of the Native American chiefs that was murdered, that he's buried here. And so it's only right for me to uh, pay my respects. So where the hell are all the graves? Like literally, are we standing on them? It's crazy. It's like erasing history off of the book. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. Yep. Where are they? Gone. It's like they just don't want to talk about it. We get to investigate the end. The end that was built for transit travels and temporary stay. Welcome to Chloride, Arizona. We're about to start our investigation. There's a white apparition just left cat. Was Where? that you? Is that is that cat's attachment or is that might be the energy in here? I'm not sure. Like a full bodied apparition? And you got that recording? I don't know if we're seeing an apparition try to manifest or if this is like some sort of portal that seems to be manifesting. My energy literally feels so ha happy right now. Holy crap. Hey! Oh, is that you? <laughs> Can you stop blinking for a second? Yeah. Can you touch the antenna on this device to let us know that you're here? doing a really great job so far. It looks like an extension of energy, like maybe an arm, swiftly moves over the melmeter as if it's trying to make it go off. Can you reach out to my hand? What's he, oh my god, is that for real? Look at that. He's reaching out to my hand. You see it? You see it? Yep. That's my hand right here. Nice to meet you in spirit form. We see his head, I'm just concerned. <laughs> What was that? What was that? What was that? Did you hear I don't that? Know. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's now like this. Rich. Okay. I'm getting out now. It's nice of talking to you. Um, do you like music? Very much. Wow. She said, very much. Are you standing behind Cat and I? Why? <gasps> Why? Why? Your families are probably waiting for you. Really? Did you hear that? Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. I can't imagine what it would be like to be dead, not know it. And in your mind, there's just a bunch of strangers that won't get out of your house. Right, right, right. We're gonna go ahead and shut the spirit box off now, so if there's anything you have left to say, please step forward and say it. So to conclude my diary entry, maybe we'll be able to change it somehow. Maybe we'll be able to bring awareness to the towns and to the dead and to respect the dead. But at the end of the day, the towns are the ones that change us. Until next time, this is Crystal, signing off.